So it is 6.30 in the morning, November 13th, actually Friday the 13th, and I am getting ready to start an eight day, seven night trip on the Skone Ledin, which is the Skone Trail. It is gonna be 124 kilometers of the trail, and I'm gonna start inland and work my way to the coast where I will celebrate my 31st birthday. Tag along. After arriving in Orko Yunga, I decided to make my official starting point the church here in town. And from there, I finally made it into the woods where I am beginning the Skone Leiden. Today I have about 20 kilometers to go and we're already entering. As I've been navigating my way along the river Pinon, uh, I've come across quite a bit of these little locks and crossing back and forth across the river, as well as these really slippery bridges. I've almost went down a couple times already. It looks like some of this hike will just be on country roads. As you can see, oh, here's a great sign. I love this about the Swedish language. Oh, it means island. Just one letter. How crazy is that? There's always something special when you walk into a forest like this that you completely did not expect. made it to this quaint little beach area. It's actually so peaceful. I can still hear a little bit of the highway over there, but other than that, I can actually hear the birds chirping now. I can hear my own thoughts. Alright, so I've just come to a mile marker here, kind of a three-way direction. Bostad is one of my destinations on this trek, which is still 55.8 kilometers away. Today's mission, Garabiget. Turns out that you do actually walk on the side of the highway, but there's more than enough room. You don't have to worry about getting hit at all. And check out this side. Moose territory. Wouldn't that be something? I just got done walking down that road for quite a bit. Uh, I guess I should point out these orange markers is what I've been following along this whole trail and you can kind of see you can see another one up that way so once you get to one you can always see the next one uh, this seems to be oh hey that bike actually scared me I thought I stepped on like a beehive or something but uh, this seems to be the last stretch towards the campsite I'm at I think it's two and a half kilometers to go uh, it was starting to spit out a little bit, a little bit of rain. So let's hope that holds off.
Good morning, everybody. It is day two, and today I'm all packed up. Just had a quick stretch. I'm going to be heading towards Coarp, I believe it's called, 16.4 uh, kilometers. So it's not too far. Yesterday was 22 kilometers, so five kilometers shorter. Uh, this is where I slept last night. I actually put my tent up in there because no one else was here. Had a small fire and even had some firewood that I could put in to warm up. Uh, so everything's packed up now. We're gonna hit the road and see what the trail's like. The sun is coming out early today. Already behind me. As you can see, I'm actually passing through someone's private yard right now. In Sweden, they have this law or rule basically called Almensraten, which gives you the right to trespass in a sense, but it's more so. Thought I stepped in a cow patty. Uh, Almensraten is basically the right to private land as long as you respect the nature and the land. I mean, there is some exceptions. You can't just go through their backyard, but private land like this farm, no issues at all. I was just walking down this road on part of the Skone Laden Trail today and noticed all this bright green colored moss along the sides and this picture perfect opportunity of the road leading out. And then to top it all off, I don't know if you can still see some of the light rays coming through. The sun decided to shine through the forest, illuminating the green even more. And wow, just check out some of the videos. So according to legend, this used to be a mouth of a cave that had collapsed and two giants used to live in here, Sniga and Kita, or Sneeg and Kita. My pronunciation, always not the greatest. But they used to dislike the sound of church bells and they would often throw these boulders that you see around me at the churches to quiet them down. <laughs> This is actually a brand new filtering device that I recently purchased from Catadyne. Uh, it's called Be Free 1 Liter, and what it is, is it's basically a filter built into the top. As you can see, the water is not crystal clear, but we're gonna test it today, and this is the water that we're gonna use for lunch. I'll show you a video of when I'm pouring it in and see how clear it comes out. Almost at the campsite. I have another eh, half an hour to go, probably, and then hopefully get a fire going tonight. And have a good meal. I've made it to the second campsite. Got my tent all set up. This one is not the most remote. As you can see, there's some cars here. But got my fire going. Got some wood in the making, and I got some friends. Got a little kitty cat. Hey. This guy. This might be the coolest little friend I'll meet on this trip. Right? Listen to him purr. Tonight we 
got Svin Kort, I think. I don't know, this is like Norwegian, but we'll just call it pork sweet and sour. Thank you. 